Very good morning from the sports desk. The 2023 ICC Under-19 Women's T20 World Cup will be the first edition of this tournament. South Africa have the privilege of hosting the first showpiece, and it gets underway in about 10 minutes' time. Of course, that's going to be Australia taking on Bangladesh in Group A's opener. Meanwhile, South Africa are facing India, and their match starts at a quarter to two this afternoon at Willemore Park in Benoni. For more on this, we're joined by Karen Smithies. If you follow your cricket, you will know her to have famously led England to glory during the 1993 Women's Cricket World Cup. A very good morning to you, Karen. Thank you so much for your time. You are somebody that is very heavily involved in South African cricket. You are somebody who's very heavily involved in women's cricket in this country. Looking at what we are about to do as South Africa, host the very first under-19 T20 World Cup, what does that say about where South African cricket is at the moment? Uh, good morning, Marina. Um, yeah, I think it's a massive opportunity um, for women's cricket in South Africa. Uh, both those in the under-19 World Cup and, and then later on, the, the, the Women's T20 World Cup. So, massive opportunity for, for, for South Africa to showcase what they have uh, and, and host uh, these incredible events. The development of the women's game in this country is something that CSA are still trying to get on par, at least, with the men's game, or, or even better, or at least even get it on par with where Australia and New Zealand and India and England are at. Do you think that this can take take South Africa some step further into ensuring that when we get to the senior level, we're not just making up the numbers, but we're also competing for the World Cup? I'm sorry, Marina, I didn't quite catch that. No, Karen, I was just saying that with the hosting of the World Cup, um, CSA are obviously looking to develop the women's game a little more than what they've already done so far. And they're trying to get South Africa, at least at senior level, to the levels of Australia and England and India. Do you think hosting this World Cup will take us a step further to getting that uh, goal achieved? Yeah, I think that's the hope. Um, you know, the last World Cups have, have, have had a lot of interest and a lot of support uh, locally. Uh, and I'm sure um, CSA and, and, and women's cricket in South Africa is looking for a similar uh, kind of um, ending, but um, I think it's just opportunity to showcase like, exactly what talent there is in, in South Africa, both at an under-19 level um, and a senior level, uh, and hope that the, the public, uh, the South African public, come out and support um, and to support them and, and actually see what uh, they can uh, produce on, on the field. It's been exciting to uh, watch, I think. For someone who's been involved in cricket in South Africa for the amount of time that you have been. Do you feel that we have the talent in this country at junior level? Do you feel that we have something to put on offer on the world stage? Yeah, indeed. I think there is a lot of talent out there. Um, I do believe, however, um, the systems in place, um, I, I guess, need to nurture that talent, mm. which I think why this Under-19 World Cup is massive uh, generally, not, not just in South Africa, but also in, in, in world cricket, for, for women's cricket. It's just another giant stepping stone for the development of the game. Um, you know, under-19 cricket is where the, the foundation is laid for, for senior cricket and, and bigger things to come. So I, I, think, I think from a South African point of view, uh, to have their under-19s play in the global stage, albeit in their own ground, um, will, will help them nurture that talent uh, which there is out there um, in the future. I know that our straps and our tag talk about the under-19 women's T20 World Cup, but I cannot not talk about the SA20 League. It is also in its inaugural season. It has seemingly started off like a house on fire, sell out crowds in the different arenas in Kabecha, in Cape Town, in Joburg, in Durban. You are also involved with the Pretoria Capitals. Uh, just talk to me about what you've made of the first four or five days of the SA20 League. Well, it's been incredible, hasn't it? Uh, the crowds are flocking back to the stadiums, which is what we want. Uh, we've got a game today at Supersport Park uh, against the Sunrisers, and it's a sellout. So looking forward to that. But it's, it's really brought, uh, I think, cricket back to to the public, which is something that they've learned for, yearned for. 
um, and the vibe at the stadium. I was there, obviously, uh, in P just the other night was incredible. So, yeah, very much looking forward to the rest of the tournament. CSA and the commission of the SA20 League, Graham Smith, have said that this will be a success compared to the two, fair enough to call them failures, of the T20 leagues coming out of South Africa. Do you share the same sentiment? Will this be a success on the levels of the Big Bash League, of the IPL? No, it's, it has a potential, certainly, to do so. It started off with a real bang. You know, it's great for the younger, you know, the young domestic players to play in and amongst international players. The quality of coaches that's around and the support staff is incredible as well. You know, just in the Pretoria Capital setup, you know, we've got young guys, Shane Dadswell, uh, Marco Murray, mm. um, you know, learning from the likes of Jacques Callis. So that can only be a, a good thing for the game. Most definitely. Karen, thank you so much for joining us this morning here on ENCA. That is Karen Smithies, the former captain of England who won the 1993 Women's Cricket World Cup. But at the current moment, she serves as the Titans team administrator, of course, just talking to us both about the inaugural under-19 Women's T20 World Cup starting right now at 10 o'clock and then also just about the SA20 League, which started on the 10th of January.